Hey everyone, welcome to the second lesson of the data manipulation course, which covers more advanced concepts related to functions. In the previous lesson, the various types of functions were introduced and a few basic functions were demonstrated. Now let's dig a little deeper into some of the more advanced functions that are commonly used in scenarios. In this use case, a new range of superhero toys are sold in a Shopify store, and I want to track the sales of these items only. By doing so, data on which superhero is the most popular is provided and will assist with the marketing strategy. So let me show you how to set this up. In the Shopify Watch Orders module, add or select an existing connection. You can then select the status, financial status, and the fulfillment status. To keep things simple for this demo, let's leave all set to any and set the limit to three to retrieve three orders during an execution. So when a product is purchased, the title of the product is compared to a list of superhero names to see if it matches any of them. If it does, it will be added to a Google Sheet. But the titles usually contain more than just a superhero's name. For example, Spider-Man Elite Series. Therefore, each word in the title needs to be separated first in order for the scenario to work correctly. To do this, you need to use the tools set variable module to create a variable, which will be an array containing a collection of the separated names. Give the variable a name, and in the variable value field, select the split function found under the text and binary tab. Then map the line items, title element outputted by the Shopify module in the brackets and the keyword space after the semicolon. Okay. Now in the second set variable module, create a variable which will be an array containing the list of superhero names that the title of the product will be compared to. Here you'll need to add the names to an empty array. This time select the add function found under the functions for working with arrays tab and map the empty array keyword in the brackets. Then simply enter the required names after the semicolon. Great. Next is the iterator that's required to iterate through the array containing all the separated words in the product's title. Simply map the element outputted by the first set variable module. On the route between the iterator and the Google Sheets module is a filter. The filter is important here since it verifies that the title contains any of the names in the array created in the previous module. To set up the filter, map the array element outputted by the second set variable module. Since you are working with an array, select the contains case insensitive array operator from the list. Lastly, map the value element outputted by the iterator to the bottom field. The final module in this scenario is the Google Sheets add a row module. Add or select an existing connection, then select the spreadsheet in the sheet that you want to add the data to. Ensure that you have the relevant headings in the sheet. Next, map the value element outputted by the iterator to the name field and the created at element from the Shopify module to the date field. Here you could also add the full product name to the sheet if you want to track the specific item sold. In this use case, only the superhero name is required, so let's leave it as is. All right, all set. Now let's go over to Shopify and create three orders. Let's use the Spider-Man Elite series as the first order, Hulk Limited Edition as the second, and a Mercedes-Benz toy car as the third. Okay, so click on Run Once to execute the scenario. Great, the scenario executed successfully. You can see here that all three orders were retrieved. Each word in the product's title of the orders were then split in the first set variable module. All the superhero names were added to the empty array. And the variable containing the separated titled words was then iterated. And the filter verified if the variable containing the superhero names contained any of the values. Here you see that two out of the three orders met the filters criteria and was added to the Google Sheet. And there you go. That brings us to the end of the lesson on the advanced concepts of functions. Hope you learned something new and see you in the next lesson.